Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. All right. First of all, we go to the One Video website. Right on the home page, it's like stepping into a colorful world. You'll see a neatly organized collection of images and videos created by users using AI, all beautifully arranged into two sections, image and video. By default, we're in the video tab. I click on one of the videos and there we go. In a new page, the video starts playing. I maximize the video. At the top of this page, there's a download icon. You can use it to directly save the video to your device. Now let's scroll down a bit. Here, you'll find the very thing that made this video possible. The prompt. That's the text the user typed to get the AI to generate this result. By clicking the copy prompt option, you can easily copy that text and use it in your own projects. But there's another exciting option too. Use. Clicking it will take those same settings and apply them to a new creation process. Now you can make a new video with the same style but a different result. Isn't that amazing? Let's now head over to the image tab. Here as well, you'll find AI generated images created by users using one video. Just like before, I randomly select one of the images. In a new window, the image opens in a larger size. On the left side, you can click on the vertically listed thumbnails to browse through the rest of the image gallery. Just like in the video section, here too you can see the prompt and its related details. Now let's go over how to create an account. In the bottom left corner of the site, I find the login option. I click on it. You can log in using a Google or GitHub account. I prefer to sign in with Google. So I click on sign in with Google and choose one of my open Gmail accounts. That's it. My account is created and I'm logged in. Now if we look at the bottom left corner again, we'll see a new option called me. By clicking on it, we get access to our profile and the logout option. A little further up, you'll see the credit option. I click on it. All right, in the menu that opens, you'll see the number of credits you have. Right now, it's at zero, but no worries, because with each daily login, you get 50 free credits. To claim them, I click the check-in button, and boom, 50 credits have been added to my account. You can use these credits to generate images or videos. Now it's time to create our very first video. From the left hand menu, I go to AI videos and click on it. On the right side of the AI videos page, you'll find the history of videos I've previously created using this AI. In the AI videos panel on the left, we have two awesome features, text to video and image to video. In this tutorial, we'll explore both methods. For now, the text to video feature is selected by default. I click on the text to video tab. Now we reach the model selection step. A drop-down menu appears, giving us the choice between two new models. Turbo 2.1 plus 2.1 and the standard text-to-video V2 model. If you're looking for higher quality and more realistic movements, plus 2.1 is the way to go. But if speed matters more to you, Turbo 2.1 is your best bet, fast, energetic, and ready to roll. Once I choose the video model, just a bit further down we reach the prompt box. This is where the magic happens. The prompt is what you type so the AI can generate a video based on it. I've already prepared a prompt. I paste it here. It describes a beautiful girl emerging from the sea water. Now I click on enhance prompt. This option upgrades your prompt to a more refined and accurate version. You can use it if you'd like, just click use it, and the enhance prompt will be added to your project. A little further down, we reach aspect ratio. Here, you can choose between horizontal, vertical, or square formats. For example, if you're creating content for Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts, the 916 vertical ratio is perfect. But if you're like me and creating long-form YouTube videos, the 16 to 9 horizontal ratio is the best choice. The next option is inspiration mode. When enabled, this allows one video's AI to elevate the visual creativity based on its own knowledge, resulting in richer details and a more unique output. However, the result might slightly differ from the original prompt, but it enhances the creative aspect of the final video. Next is the sound effects option. If you turn this on, 
the AI will automatically generate suitable sound effects or background music for your video. No effort needed from your side. Alright, now I click generate video. 10 credits will be used, and my request enters the processing queue. I wait a few moments. And there it is. The video thumbnail appears. I play the video. As you saw, my prompt was about a beautiful girl emerging from the sea. And the result? Honestly impressive. The AI clearly understood my intention. The video quality is good, and the movements feel realistic and natural. Of course, with a more detailed prompt, specifying camera angles, movements, and a few test runs, we can achieve even more professional results. To the right of the video frame, there's a download button. You can use it to save the video. And in the top right corner of the frame, there's also a trash icon for when you want to delete the video. Now, let's dive into part two, where we're going to transform a still image into an engaging, animated video. To begin, I open the AI videos panel and activate the image to video tab. Here, the first step is to upload the image I want to turn into a video. I click the plus icon in the reference image section. A window pops up. I select and upload the image I had in mind. After a few moments, the thumbnail of the uploaded image is beautifully displayed. Now it's time to get creative. In the prompt box, you need to type in your idea for animating the image. I already have an idea written down, so I simply paste it in. Now I click on Enhance Prompt. Based on your prompt, the AI will generate an improved and more engaging version of it. If you like it, you can use it by clicking Use It, and the Enhance Prompt will be added to your project. With the same settings as before, I click on Generate Video. And boom! At this point, 10 credits are deducted from my account, and the project enters the processing queue. I wait for a few moments. And now the generated video appears with a ready-to-play thumbnail. I hit play and watch it excitedly. My idea was to animate an image for a horror film. The result isn't bad, but it could be better. So once again, using the same settings, I click on generate video. Another 10 credits are deducted from my account and the project enters the queue again. I repeated this process several times and got some interesting results, as you can see. And now, Let's explore another exciting feature of One Video's AI. Called Text to Image. From the left menu, I click on AI Images. Inside the AI Images panel, I click on the Model Selection tab. By default, the model is set to Win 2.1+. From the drop-down list, the Turbo and Plus models are also available. As before, the Plus model delivers higher quality images, while the Turbo model generates them faster. Here, I choose Win 2.1+ which is the newer version. Then I scroll down to the prompt input box. I've prepared a prompt in advance and pasted into the text box. Again, we have the enhanced prompt option here, which I fully explained in the previous example. In the style palette section, different style options are available. We'll cover them in more detail in future tutorials. Now it's time to select the image dimensions. In the aspect ratio section, I choose 16 to 9 for a horizontal HD image. I click Generate Image, which costs two credits from my account. A few moments later, four images are generated and their thumbnails are displayed. I click on one of them to view it in a new window. In this window, the vertically listed thumbnails allow us to view all the generated images. At the top right corner of this window, there's a download option to save the images. When I hover my mouse over it, Two options appear, Download with Watermark and Download without Watermark. I click on Download without Watermark, and the images are saved to my device in full quality, watermark free. But it doesn't end here, because I want to introduce you to a real treasure. In the AI images or even AI videos pages, there's an option called User Guide, I click on it. Here, a world of valuable information about professional prompt writing with Juan Videos AI awaits you. At the top of this page, you'll find an overview of the basic features of this AI. Then, a simple prompt structure is shown, along with a sample prompt based on that structure, so you can fully understand it and draw inspiration from it. 
scroll down a bit, and you'll find more advanced information about the Turbo and Plus models. After that, there's a huge prompt library for text-to-video and image-to-video, from basic formulas to advanced tips. This section includes valuable insights about defining camera shots, such as close-up, medium shot, and long shot. It even includes technical info about camera angles like first-person view, low angle, and aerial shot, so you can incorporate those perspectives in your videos and images. Also included is a guide to different types of camera lenses, with corresponding codes that allow you to simulate macro, ultra-wide angle, and fisheye shots. What surprised me the most was the range of styles available, like cyberpunk, anime, pixel game, line art animation, 3D cartoon, surreal, clay, watercolor, and origami, all usable for both videos and images. One Videos AI also provides a dedicated structure for lighting, so by following it, you can achieve natural, neon, or ambient lighting in your creations. Reading this guide can seriously level up your work. With a better understanding of prompt writing, the AI understands your intent more clearly and gives you much more accurate results. And now, a golden tip. I click on the credit option. As you can see, I currently have four credits left after spending some. If you want to earn more credits while working on your projects, there's a simple and fun way. Just like the videos you've created, let me show you. I click details on the horror video. On the new page, I hit the like icon and instantly. Five credits are added to my account. I do the same for the other videos I've made. Another five credits earned. Now it's time to check my updated credit balance. I click on credits at the bottom right corner of the screen. Boom! As you can see, my account is recharged, and I've got new credits added. And that's a wrap! You've not only created a video and an image, you've gone on a full adventure with AI. So, if this tutorial was helpful for you, now's the time to show me some love. Smash that like button, not just with a tap, but with some heart. And if you think this video could help your friends too, make sure to share it with them. It would mean a lot. Remember, this tutorial is just a drop in the ocean of amazing content waiting for you on this channel. And it's growing every day. If you're into the fascinating world of AI, you've come to the right place. Now's the perfect time to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss the next tutorial. Because in the upcoming videos, we're really going to blow your mind. AI is the future, so let's welcome it with open arms, right now.